Okay, today I am up along a steep ridge and we are shed hunting, we are morel tree spotting, and if you stick with me, I've got a map, a deluxe map of morel mushroom fruiting in the United States. So uh, if you want to see that, join me today. That's cool. Way down in there. Come on, sheds, where are you at? Decent trail down in here. This is more melted. This is the south facing spot with the deer. See how we do. And we're just going to cross ourselves a little creek up in here and go up this steep thing. Let's see what we got. Definitely deer here. Definitely deer tracks. Oh, yeah. yeah, so for all you non-believers in the early spring, it's happening. A whole bunch of states down south are popping around. We're getting nice and big and meaty down in Georgia. You've got early spots you want to be looking. I'll stick a map in here. Show you where the mushrooms have been found. Uh, top secret tip, go to Greencast Online. Uh, where was I? Okay, my GoPro camera, the battery died, even though I charged it up. So I was telling you about greencastonline.com. It is a soil temperature website that you can type in your city, hit it, and it will tell you what the soil temps are. And you want 53 to 55 degrees from where else to fruit. Remember, if it gets up to 62, four inches down, they stop for good okay so you want to go there hot tip uh, the great morale.com has a progression map so that's also important i scan all the facebook groups and try and find the most recent fruitings for you and i'm going to put a map up in a sec so get out there down south get your mushrooms Marcella americana is starting to really pop in Georgia. They are getting larger. They are spotty everywhere else, favoring Morcella angusticeps, the black morel or early morel in the other southern states. But Morcella americana is starting in some microclimates. So get out there and take a look. Let's say you're not sure of the trees. If you learn the leaves, You'll see there's a bunch of cottonwood. Elm, oak, all kinds of good trees. All kinds of dying ash trees and great brush. If you're wearing a deer for me with antlers dropping. Another secret tip, um, this here's an elm tree. Look how the bark is like kind of orangey. And if you look way out, there aren't any buds and the branches curl in like the fingers of a bony dead hand, like a claw. I don't know if it's an ailer or not, it's a knot. But like you want to see that, it's like a freshly dead monster. So you cross this. Pretty far. Too bad I don't have my GoPro, I could film it. Watching Granny take a dunk. Yeah, so I didn't do that long, it was slipping. But I found racks. So I'm crossing this thing now with a little trail, little trail of rocks. And I'm in the middle of it right now. I'm balancing though. In the summer, you don't want to do rocks, it can be covered with algae. Super, super slippery. So, we're gonna go across this. 
like this. I'm gonna dip my toe in right there, right there. Whoop, slippy, and I'm done. I'm alive. Woohoo! Gotta be deer digging for food. It's gotta be. I'm finding them all over on these deer trails. Yep, roots and such. Gosh, there's so many deer tracks. I think they're not all does. Give me just one buck. This is black cherry. Um, in Wisconsin, there aren't any tulip poplar trees, or very few. Uh, they're not actually poplars, tulip poplars. They're in the magnolia family. Anyway, I found the Marcella diminutiva, the small morel, on these black cherries here in Wisconsin instead of the tulips, because we don't have those. This is a plant pathogen that causes black knot on the prunus genus, such as cherry trees and plum trees. When the canker is large on the trunk, it can be mistaken for chaga. And there's an old apple tree or crab apple tree in distress, great for making mushrooms. More dead elm. Um, some Shag bark hickory, you can make a syrup out of boiling the bark on that. More dead elm. Great spot, and this is the deer trail I'm following. Going down now. I prefer to be up high. Dead elm trees, ash trees, black cherry, young forest with scrub and privet type thorny brambles. Great morel mushroom habitat. Hey, tattoo granny, ID this for me. <laughs> yeah. Rotted mushrooms are hard to ID. Why do you keep asking? Back to civilization. Find a little trail out. Some crows are unhappy I'm here. Uh, shed hunt, strike out. Lots of good trees. A creek crossing, a little dicey. Thanks so much for joining me today. I appreciate you. Please, if you learned something or got a good tip, like and subscribe this video. That always warms my heart. Take care and have an epic morel mushroom season this year. More updates to come. Many more progression updates to come. It's happening, 2023, baby. Okay, for those of you who stuck around and watched all of the credits and um, links and such to the very end of this video, here's a tip. It's March. If you've got snow on the ground, some of it's melting. And notice where it has melted and where it is staying right now. The melted areas will green up first, warm up first, and give you morel mushrooms. So. Look, there's no snow. No snow? Oh, snow. No snow? Uh, snow. So use that. Use that to your advantage when you're hiking. Notice in the forests which trees have snow and which are melting away already.